stage. Keep the applause going right now for Zach Bragg. All right, thank you very much. I, uh, I just found out the uh, hard way that my mattress is not one of those that's advertised on TV where you can pour a glass of wine and set it on the mattress and then jump on the bed and the glass of wine won't fall over. And it turns out it's just a uh, plain old water bed. So. <laughs> my brother just got married to his longtime girlfriend. Uh, he's very proud. He's, ve he's very proud. He calls her his trophy wife. Uh, which is gross, but he uh, he's a millennial, so I call her his participation trophy wife. <laughs> I am what you might call the uh, Harry Potter friend in my group of friends. Um, what that means is like when me and my friends are all together and we're out, and somebody outside of our friend group mentions anything Harry Potter related, all of my friends kind of smirk and cut their eyes at me because they all know that both of my parents were murdered. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to lose some weight, I'm trying to lose weight. I, uh, I started to get fat a while back ago and, um, and I, I did it. I made it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now, you know, there's a difference in getting fat and being fat. you like, you know, you're getting fat when your clothes start to fit a little tighter, but you know, you're already fat when the back of your shower stops getting wet when you're in it. That's where I'm at <laughs> right now. Yeah. But it's my, it's my own fault. I love food. You know, I'm not afraid to admit it. I, uh, and I didn't ever think it was a problem until the other day. I drove by a Taco Bell and just just smiled at it, just instinctively. <laughs> like, and it was like, it, it was just any smile. It was like the boyish, shy smile. Like I was watching uh, my prom date come down the stairs. <laughs> Looking real cute. I'm trying to make some more healthy choices. i uh trying to eat better. A friend of mine suggested a uh, kiwi, so I tried to cut up a kiwi uh, for a snack. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Um, I don't know. It's just too hard to get past all the, the blood and feathers and little bones. <laughs> it, was, it was yuck. I would, try to, I would like to try to get back down to my pre-baby weight. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's my weight before I ate that baby. I was driving home the other night from my WNBA Fantasy League draft, and um, <laughs> and when out from nowhere, a little uh, hedgehog ran out in front of me, in front of my car, and uh, and but I didn't, I didn't even see it until I was right up on it, and so it happened so fast I couldn't react, and I, I couldn't help it, I, I hit it, and uh, it was a mess too, man. Just gold rings were just bouncing all over the road. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I, uh, I just found out something uh, interesting, I guess, and a lot of you may have already known, but I didn't know this. Did you guys know that Hitler, yes, the Hitler, is responsible for the creation of the Volkswagen vehicle? Yeah. I didn't know that. For those of you who might not have known that, a little quick history lesson. Back in the 30s, the German, auto German automotive industry was comprised mostly of uh, expensive luxury vehicles, and a lot of people in Germany couldn't afford one. But Hitler wanted all families have access to a vehicle. So he sponsored a manufacturing plant to produce vehicles uh, for families. And uh, that's how the Volkswagen German for Car of the People came to be. What a, what a great guy. What a nice, <laughs> just, that's the feel good story about Hitler the media doesn't want you to hear. No, it is weird, right? That like Hitler created the Volkswagen and we're still driving it around today. Like, as if uh, ethnic cleansing is a small price to pay for 40 highway miles per gallon in satellite radio. <laughs> no, but this is, uh, this is just like the Confederate statue issue. Like, and I'm, like, like they're basically, Volkswagens are basically uh, monuments to the Third Reich. And I'm all for tearing down some uh, Confederate statues from the courthouse line. But Caitlin still gets to drive around in her 2017 Jew Slayer. I mean, Jetta. And I have friends who are Jewish now. Now when I see a Volkswagen Beetle, I can't, I can't punch them because it's a hate crime now. So. Guys, thank you very much. That's my time. Have a good night. Keep it going for Zach Bragg.